<laughs> oh my Welcome to your video, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make an animated intro without Blender. So Blender is an app you can download, and personally, I find it really confusing to use. I guess my computer can't really run it. If you don't already know, I'm on a Mac, so it's not like the fastest computer, but it's still a good computer, and it kind of makes my Mac overheat, and it's just not the best. So I'm going to show you how I make my animated intros without Blender. I don't have anything against Blender, just from personal experience, maybe it's just me. Um, I cannot really understand it. Well. So sadly, this tutorial only works for computers. I'm not 100% sure if it works for Chromebooks, but if you do have a Chromebook and you end up trying this, comment down below if it worked or not, um, because I really would like to know. Oh wow, I need to pass that part. So yeah, if you need a mobile tutorial, comment down below and um, I can uh, make one because I also know how to make one on mobile, it's just not as high quality. And also thank you to everyone who has joined our Roblox group, thank you for buying our merch and thank you for all that, it's really helpful and we really appreciate it. I think we have like 18, 19 members, doesn't seem like a lot but it is a lot for us. So yeah, I think that's it for the intro and let's get on to the video. First thing you need to do is open up Roblox Studio. Roblox Studio comes with regular Roblox. So if you have Roblox, you should have Roblox Studio. If you don't, the link to its download is in the description. You will have to sign in using your Roblox username and password, but then you should come to the screen. So the first thing you wanna do is make a new game. So click onto base plate, then it should join. And here we are. I really recommend that you have a mouse because if you don't have a mouse and you're using a touch pad then you have to use this and it's really hard to use this so i really recommend you use a mouse a lot of you may be wondering how i have toolbox explorer and properties on my screen so to get those you'll go to view and then as you can see there's toolbox explorer and properties so just click on those and they should show up on your screen you can uh, mess around with how like close and how like big they are but i really um i like to have this one as small as possible and this one as well so that way i have more screen and everything now you may be wondering how to move so use w a s d to move around and E and Q to go up and down. E goes up and Q goes down. Okay, so now it's time to get your character onto your base plate. So if you go next to view, there's plugins. If you click on that, you'll see, you'll see I only have two plugins, but this looks like five because this is called the moon animation suite. I do have RD Pro's plugins to load my character. I don't recommend you get this one because moon animator doesn't work very well with this one. So I recommend you just download moon animation suite. If you don't already have moon animation suite, this is how you'll get it. Go to your toolbox and go to models. Then click on the plugins. Once you click on the plugins, search up Moon Animator. Then it should load and then this should be right here. Just install it and it may ask you to restart Roblox Studio. But then once you restart Roblox Studio, it should show up right here. So here it is, Moon Animator, File Explorer, Character Inserter, and Easy Weld. So you'll want to click on the Character Inserter. And then your Roblox username that you signed in on should show up. I personally um, make my JFXs on an alt account called Bubbly Gaming. It's a noob account. So I don't know why, but I just never signed out of it. But I have my character right here. So say this is your character and you want to do somebody else, go to player name slash ID and put in their Roblox username. It's optional if you want to do the um, ID if you really want to. And press enter and then it should show up right here. So you want to click R15 and then press insert. And then it should show up in your explorer tab right here and on your base plate. Then you can exit out of this. So I'm sure many people will want to make a, an animation with two people. I know how to make them with two people, um, but this one is just for one person as it is simpler and easier to record. But if you wanted to know how to do one with two people, um, stay tuned and I will make one probably soon in the future. Okay, so now we have our character. The next thing you want to do is customize your character. So if you go over to your explore tab, you'll see your character and then click on this little arrow. Then all of the body parts should show up. Personally, I like to put in my dream item, which is the super, super happy face. I don't have it, but this is how you can get any face you want. So scroll down until you find head, click the arrow, and then if you scroll down, you'll find face. If you click on a face, it should highlight with orange around the face. And then in your properties, you should see texture, 
and then this. This is the kind of face I have. But to get a different face, you'll want to go into regular Roblox and search up the face you want. I'm gonna do the super, super happy face like I said. Here it is. Once you found the face that you want, you'll want to come up to the link up here and do Control C or Command C to copy it, or you could just right click and press copy. Then it's copied to your clipboard and you can go back to Roblox Studio. Then come down to texture, and do Control V or Command V to copy it. Then there's my face. You can also delete accessories up here, but I'm gonna keep on all my accessories as I like them right now. So I'm done with that bit. So the next thing you'll want to do is get a model. So to get a model, you wanna go to your toolbox and make sure it's in models. And you can search up the kind of model that you want, or you can filter it by a creator. On the screen are tons of creators that you can use the models from. So I am going to be um, using all the creators in my screen and figure out which models I like most from all the creators and then narrow it down to one. Oh, that's so cute, okay. <laughs> so I've narrowed it down to two models. So this one is like a little like wardrobe model and then this one is like a bedroom model. I do like about this one is that I can actually like move the parts like this so they're not like attached fully. So like I could move this chair out a bit if I really wanted to. So I think I'm gonna use this model. So I'm just gonna mess around with some, some the model. So here is a tip on how to select multiple items. Um, so just press shift and then click on the items and then they um, select together and then they all move at once. So that's really all I wanna do with this model to mess around with it. I think I might move this back a bit and then yeah, that's all I really wanna do. Something I'm gonna add though is I always try to add some sort of animal to my animation. So I'm going to add think an adopt me cat so i'm gonna um delete the neon cat because it's not the best so if you go to model you can press scale and then you can make it smaller i'm probably gonna make it really tiny okay so that's good for now i'm gonna just place it in there model now the next thing you do is get your character into their starting position also known as getting them into your model so i'm just gonna use the move tool and i'm gonna move it into my model i'm also going to rotate it by pressing rotate in the model section and i'm just gonna move it like this if you're wondering how to move it this smooth um just go to model and then change rotate to our 0.01 and then zero studs and then it should move this smooth so i'm just gonna place her inside or like on the couch i also want my character to be like hanging out with the kitten okay so now i'm going to take the kitten and i'm going to place it on the couch as well that i'm also going to use rotate tool I'm just going to turn it so that way it's facing the right way. There we are. Okay, so um, I usually forget to do this, but I didn't this time. So before we start to animate it, you will want to um, figure out what to do with this base plate. So you want to come over to explore, and then if you have a ton of stuff, you may have to scroll down, but look for base plate. Here's my base plate. So select the base plate and just press delete, and then it'll go away. Um, the gray looks really weird in most GFXs. And then go to your toolbox and search up sky. Then look for the kind of sky that you want. I think I'm gonna use this island sky. Uh, if you didn't know, there's an undo button up here if you want to know that. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is add lighting. So I'm just gonna use warm lighting. Search it up in the toolbox and click this. And as you can see, it does make it really, really bright. So we can always turn down the brightness in editing. Okay, there we are. So now we can go into view and click toolbox and get rid of it. So now it's the hard part, which is animating. So go to your plugins and press moon animator. Then this should show up. Click onto file and then press new animation. So I'm gonna name mine kitten animation because there is a kitten in it. Then press confirm. Once you press confirm, this should show up. You can mess around with the size of it. I usually try to make it kind of small. Right here, you can um, choose how long you want the timeline to be. It could be only 30 seconds. To get your character into your grid right here just click plus and then go to your explorer and then click on to your character so i found it and then press make sure rig has a check mark and then press ok and then all these should show up so now if you go to here and select lower torso it should move the lower torso you may have noticed this little blue dot that shows up that shows the beginning and like when your character will move so i'm going to teach you the tips and tricks like the basic ones and then you can like mess around with what works best for you so this is the rotate tool but if you want to move something press r on your keyboard and it will move it and then just press r again to rotate it a cool thing you can do instead of um choosing it from here say you want to move the head you can just click onto the head and then it selects the accessories the hair um and the entire head so you don't necessarily have to choose it from here this is just on detail so if you're trying to make your character look like it's sitting like this doesn't look very like realistic you want it to look realistic so click onto the very bottom of the leg, not the foot, but the lower leg. 
Make sure it's in rotate and then you can bend it down and you can also move it so that way it will look seamless. There we are. So now that I've taught you the tips and tricks on rotating and do everything, I will be right back because I don't want to make this video too long and I'll be right back after rotating and getting my character in the starting position. Okay, so I created the starting position. I put the kitten into my lap and I rotated the arms to make it look like I was holding her. I guess it's a her now. <laughs> so I'm actually going to rotate these the feet because I want the starting position because I'm gonna have the feet like moving. So I selected all the parts. That's our starting position. So now it's time to show you how to animate it. So take this and I recommend you bring it pretty far forward because if you bring it like too close together, it makes it go way too fast and it looks just not right. But now you're going to rotate a limb. So I'm gonna have mine like looking down. I'm gonna keep it looking down, but it's gonna like slightly move. There we are. So now it's time for the next pose. So bring it a little more forwards and then I'm gonna have it like kind of like start to move up. So I'm gonna just be rotating them a little bit. I'm just gonna be keep on repeating this process until I get the animation that I like. <laughs> What am I doing? I'm probably gonna like go from here and then move into this and then like our channel name will show up there. So now the next thing you will probably be wondering is how to add a camera. So you're gonna come up to camera right here and you can press add camera. So don't do field of view or any of this. So you'll just wanna press C frame. So make sure it has like the line there. But the first thing you want to do before you do any of this is to make it more realistic, go to explore under workspace and then do camera. Make this a smaller number. It makes it look much more realistic and it just like makes it much better. So this will be my starting position. So the first animation, it'll start like this. Um, you just wanna press equal or plus right there. And then if you go forward and like say you're like here, if you click that, it'll bring you there. So the next thing I think, I'm just gonna like slowly start like moving forward a bit. So I'm gonna add another plus or equal right there and it's gonna like slowly move forward. Okay, so this is the finished animation with all the C frames and stuff and it'll move in. It's like do 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 do. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is make sure that you go to file and you just press um, save. So now it's time for the last step. So if you click on the moon animator, if you press, uh, so like go to the very beginning of your animation, like there, if you do control H, it'll go away and you do the exact same thing and it'll bring it back. So now it's time to screen record it. You can use different types of screen recorders. You can download Screencastify, which is a browser extension on Google Chrome. Um, you can download, you can download any type of screen recorder and then just screen record it. And then I'm also gonna go into view and I'm gonna press view selector and I'm gonna turn it off. Make sure you're screen recording, make sure your mouse is out of the way. Okay, that was a pretty good screen recorder. 